Hi everyone, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and today we'll look at how to create image captions using the Caption Filter module. Also, don't forget you can learn more about Drupal by going to our website where we post videos and tutorials about Drupal. And if you like, join our newsletter or follow us on Twitter at WebWashNet. The Caption Filter module allows content creators to add captions to images or embedded objects, like a flash object. All you need to do is wrap an image with the caption shorthand and add the caption after the image. And that's it. Let's now see the module in action. I've got my test site. So first we'll just enable the module and type in caption. Caption filter. And now we need to set up the filter on the filtered HTML text format. So go to configuration and text formats. And here I'll click on configure for the filtered HTML. Then just enable the filter, make sure it's, uh, it's, it's at the bottom. But if you have the limit allowed HTML tags, make sure you allow the image tag or the image will get filtered out. All right, now let's actually create a test piece of content to see this in action. We'll call this caption test article. And here I've got some content which I've already created, which has, so if we have a look here, I've got a image which has the align right. And I've got a caption called image figure one. And, and I'm gonna wrap this image around text. And then here in the second section, I've got another caption, another, an, another image with a caption, but this one is just a right aligned left and that's it. So let's just, Make sure everything's set up right, yep. And then we hit save. And there you go. You have the images. This one is aligned right with the caption. And this one is aligned left with the caption. The final thing I wanna demonstrate is the integration between the caption module and the insert module. So this is the insert module. Insert module allows you to insert images or files into a text area directly from a button, which is attached to the, to the image field or the file field, okay? Now, I won't go into too much details about the insert module. I'll just show you the integration between caption and insert. So if we go back to our test site, what you need to do is configure an image field to work with caption and insert. So if we go to the image field and then go to insert, make sure you have this checkbox ticked, also insert button ticked, but also then make sure the enable title field is ticked as well. If we disable that and hit save, we will get an error a validation error. So just make sure that is ticked. All right, let's now create a test piece of content on another article. And we'll call this insert article uh, caption. Let me go back here and we'll paste in some test content. Let's paste in some more. And then down here in our image field, we'll upload an image. And here we have the insert button. And let's just add in a caption. I'll uh, just call it random test caption. And let's just select where we want the image to be inserted in. Uh, let's put it here. And then hit insert. And straight away, you can see that the image, no, sorry, that the insert module 
has, has inserted the image with our, with our caption tag. And what we need to do, final thing we need to do is just align it. So we'll align this right. And then just add the text back and then save. And there you go. You have the inserted image aligned right with the caption. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment.